This week at Coffee and Tools, we're looking at <laughs> carports. I need that. Ah. Yeah, this topic this week is carports. This is my carport, and I just wanted to give you a visual idea of uh, a lot of times the dealers have got these things set up, and they look great when they're empty. Problem is, when they're not empty, you start to get a visual. This one here uh, is 20 uh, feet long. It's, it's 20 feet this way. It's 18 feet across, and so that's not really a big carport, but a lot of dealers will have these 18 foots on display. And you kind of look at it and go, oh man, yeah, you know, get a couple cars under there and it's great. Well, not really. Uh, this here, this space right here is pretty good. And I, I can live with it. I like that space. That, that works for me. Let's take a look over and see what's really happening. This is a subcompact car, by the way, too. Small car. The space between this Jeep and this car right now is unacceptable. But, you know, uh, this is why I say 18 feet just doesn't cut it. Because let's go even further over. Let me get over here, and the Jeep has almost no space. In fact, uh, I have to be careful backing up that I don't, you know, tear the mirror off on one of these posts. Uh, each post on these carports, if you haven't figured it out, is is a standard. They're pretty much they're five feet on centers, you know, between each. So that's what you're looking at. So if you count the spaces, one, two, three, four times, you know, uh, five feet, you get 20 feet. That's a 20 foot carport. Now, the top of the carport actually overhangs, and it overhangs roughly, well, that's roughly, uh, that should be about six inches on each end, which means you got like a 21-foot roof on a 20-foot carport. Uh, the other thing, too, is you'll notice there's no struts. There, there's very little of anything here. There's these reinforcing struts here, but you'll notice that the only strength in this at that point becomes this metal, and it's 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 a fairly good heavy gauge metal so it's not a joke this one here was probably somewhere around eight or nine hundred dollars uh, delivered and installed and really for the money I'd say it's a pretty good value because it keeps the Sun and everything off your car what I what bothers me is the uh, what I'm looking at would have a 10 foot by say 20 foot workshop at the back of it and here's where things start to fall apart so I get back here on my concrete pad. So just imagine I tear that carport out of here and I put a 10, uh, it's, it would be 20 by 30 feet. Would have a 10 foot workshop, like shed, as you saw, with a garage on one end. First off, because the garage door is going to be roughly where that center post is, uh, that means I've lost a little bit of space on each side. And of course I want to park my tractor and maybe my dumps, my little dump wagon. And some other, you know, other garden tools, uh, lawnmower, trimmers, weed, shovels, junk like that. It's all got to come in here. And I actually want it for automotive tools. So the space left, like for instance, between that tractor right now and here is five feet and across would be 20. So you could still get some stuff in here. Don't say it's, you know, the, the end of the world, but I wanted to visually give you an idea or perspective that when you start looking at these on the lot, they look pretty grand. And even the 10 by 20 inside workshop thing looks, oh my God, you got all kinds of space in here. Yeah, until you pull that tractor in. And well, garden tractor is just part of the deal. Uh, I'll take another angle here. And again, you got to remember that that center post would be about where the door would be. So the tractor would come in there. And it's almost, well, it's a good three quarters of the way over to here. To the other side of this uh, park area right now and what I'm saying is just visualize that that's 10 feet from there to there and then from here way over to here that's only 18 it's not a 20 foot but you know it's still you know two more feet not gonna make or break the, the world but you can see how much space that tractor takes up and should back that car up a little bit more we really get a good visual on this <laughs> <laughs> but the you know this week I wanted to talk a little bit about carports because I'm interested in building another shop and I already have a, a two-car garage out the back here 
spot I would like to have a shop here that's more automotive and garden tools which includes of course Mr. Big Shot here the tractor and uh, because of the size of the cutting uh, deck you're not gonna be able to live with a small door so you're gonna need a full roll-up door that's like a you know an 8 by 8 or whatever which again means that that whole wall is going to open up to let that tractor in. So you really can't build anything into the corners or anything along that wall. So uh, the other thing you're going to do, if you have a carport like myself, you're going to want a door, a man door, over here between these two vehicles that would lead out that way. Again, you know, you have to visualize that there's a door there. So that means you've got a little bit of room on this side, a little bit of room on this side. And that's about it. Uh, looking at this one over here, kind of abandoned but uh, the fella built a put a building up and attached it to a uh, carport and this actually is kind of a cool idea but uh, there's a couple problems one is it's expensive uh, it actually would cost more than just putting up that carport with a metal building so you know uh, the problems involved that uh, type of t111 siding uh, at least in southeast Texas that stuff will just rot and even the roof line has come down from uh, probably lack of care, but maybe invasion of, you know, the uh, windows are busted, the doors are broke out. I'm sure the air, the humidity, everything's breaking through and the lumber's breaking down. So it wasn't done uh, to last, unfortunately. And, and poor guy did a, probably looks like he did a pretty good job on it, but it's, uh, it's just an abandoned uh, site for the time being. See if we can get a front on that. See the uh, he over he took the roof over the carport again to help uh, keep I guess rain from the shop or from the shed that he uh, had here. And it's a good size. I really like the setup he had, but unfortunately, uh, it's uh, Mr. Time has really eaten that thing up. So, anyways, back to uh, my problem over here. <laughs> I'm uh, probably looking at you know ripping this carport out of here and uh, then uh, build, putting the bigger one in with the shop at the back and the other thing I noticed here which I thought was kind of odd and the grass starting to grow over already but usually if you're gonna do this too you you'd go right to the edge of the concrete that's that's pretty much norm and for some reason they didn't but uh, no idea. Uh, they just centered it and threw it down on the driveway for whatever. And of course, to do all that, the reason is I want to get rid of that that wooden shed mess right there. I want that gone, and the little uh, overhangs and all the other uh, goodies. You know, just rip all that out of there and just take take it away. So a carport will be you know ideal with a metal building. It seems to be the most cost effective. I have been checking around and I really think the carport with the metal garage is probably probably going to be the way I end up going but I'm going to back up here a little bit and try to show you a little better what I'm talking about with the uh, work area inside the carport for the shed part of it you know it's you know that looks like you're only using five feet but ideally that's the tractor would be in the center where that post is it'd be a big door here you start losing all the space of the room, whatever. And then along this uh, wall here, as you can see, you might have some shelving, but that's about all you'd have space for. You have to move the tractor over a little bit, of course, but that's all you'd have space for. So you'd have a little bit of space across the back over there, about 10 feet of it for maybe a couple of workbenches, some basic automotive tools, and then you're pretty much out of luck. So anyway, uh, carports, interesting. Coffee and tools to be continued. We'll get back to electrical work, unfortunately, but yeah, I wanted to just show that to you guys and just discuss it. So hopefully, anyone talking about carports, eh, comment below, whatever. All right, over and out.